Hi, my name is Ty Davis. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. I just recently graduated um, from Oklahoma State in this past December. I graduated with an animal science major with a minor in agribusiness. And I chose OSU because I came and visited one time and I fell in love with the campus. I always thought I was going to go to Texas Tech just because that's where my mom had gone. But as soon as I came here, I knew this was the place for me. I grew up in the city. Uh, I didn't have any kind of involvement in agriculture growing up. I joined uh, FFA in high school mainly because I didn't really know what else to do. There was no other options for me or anything, so I, I joined that just because. And then from there stemmed my love for agriculture. And uh, deciding to come here and pursue animal science was just a perfect fit. Um, have a love for agriculture and cattle in particular, and learned a lot while I'm here. So after my freshman year, I quickly figured out that I had a lot of ground to cover from the people that did grow up on a ranch and did grow up in agriculture. So I applied for the Purebred Beef Center where they accepted me and put me on the Purebred Range. Uh, I never had any kind of real hands-on in the production field of it. I just had a few show cattle. And so I thought I knew everything about cows from there, but turns out I didn't. Uh, it was nice to get outside of classroom experience so while I was out there, there, I worked there for two and a half years. And from there, I learned more than I think I did in the classroom, just from the real hands-on experience, whether it was uh, learning how to drive a tractor or pushing cows or vaccination or synch uh, synchronizing cows. Uh, you know, from day one to my last day in December, there, I learned something new every day. I think having a professor as advisor is the absolute best because not only are they your advisor where you get to go know them that way, but you actually are taking classes with them. You, you get to know them so much better, and whether it's on a professional level or just a, a personal level from there, they know what you want, and they know how to get you there, and they know what like professors you should take, what professors you shouldn't take, um, what path you should go on, what internships they know about that you should take. So that's one thing I love about having a professor as an advisor. I've had three internships. So my first one was with JBS, uh, XIT Feeders with Five Rivers, so it was on a feedlot. And that was incredible, because I know I keep saying that I was from the city, hadn't seen that, but I really hadn't seen that. So it's a feedlot. It was a 75,000 head feedlot. Um, my second one was kind of a stem from there. I got to intern at, uh, with JBS in their corporate office in Greeley, Colorado. I was their first intern for their fed beef pricing crew. Obviously, I learned a lot there just from the business aspect of it. And then my latest one was with Gardner Angus. I just got done with that. On March 6, 2017, that was when the Starbuck fire rolled through, where I was, you know, there within about less than a mile from the fire whenever it rolled in. So when I originally went into the internship, I thought it would be more reproduction-based, artificial insemination, because their herd is 100% artificially inseminated. But then after the fire, a lot of things changed. It was more fixing fence, keeping things alive, putting things together. It was more of a ranch operations internship after that. So it was a lot of hard times, a lot of long hours, but it was worth it in the end because we pulled off the sale. You know, there's, there's professors here that say, hey, there's this going on. You should really apply for this. So with that, I, I had about six uh, different careers that I thought I wanted to be. And through OSU, I had the chance to actually try those out and found out that that wasn't for me. And uh, here recently through production, I finally found one that stuck, and that is what I want to do. I was a part of the Animal Science Leadership Alliance, where me and about 15 other students like myself got to be in charge of recruitment of new students and helping out current students like as a bridge between students and faculty. And we played a huge part in that in telling our story and trying to sell our campus. And then the other things I, were a part of, I was a part of was uh, a couple clubs, uh, collegiate cattlemen's, but the two bigger ones would be uh, the meat judging team and the meat animal evaluation team, where we got to <clears throat> travel all these different places, know what a real cut is supposed to look like and how to judge it. And then the uh, meat animal team, it probably added the most practical one, in my opinion, because that gave us the ability to look at a live animal and know how it's going to produce. So with the meat judging team, we got to use the Robert M. Kerr Food and Agricultural Products Center uh, pretty extensively for meat judging practice. It's an incredible place. And I got to go to Australia with the meats team where we uh, 
we did win their uh, national title. Um, I just got accepted into Colorado State in their one-year master's program in assisted reproductive technologies. So in the future, um, I'm tossing around a few ideas. I would like to own my own reproduction enterprise, go around, do some flushing or in vitro fertilized embryos, or uh, I'm also tossing around the idea of a doctorate. My favorite thing about Stillwater is it's a big town. There's enough for you to do. You're never going to get bored, but it's small enough you don't feel like you're in this big city at the same time. People here are awesome. I keep coming back to, to visit and hang out, and I met my best friends in the world from this department.